Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. All right, guys, welcome back. So I just bought a $10,000 Motoko Ghost, and I have 10 other Motoko Ghosts that I bought recently, and I'm going to explain why in this video. And in a very short, condensed version, my bet is that ICP is going to become the biggest thing in the world. So if I believe ICP is going to become the biggest thing in the world, it's reasonable for me to expect ICP NFTs to become some of the biggest NFTs in the world. And so if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, that's the main takeaway. All right. Now, whether or not that will turn out to be true, I guess we'll see. And it is more of a speculative bet for me to say that than for me to say, I think ICP itself will become the biggest thing in the world. Because I can look at ICP and its network functionality, and I can compare it to other networks, and I can say, okay, based on network functionality and capabilities, XYZ is only possible on ICP. That's more of a thorough evaluation process using process of elimination based on real technical functionality as opposed to looking at NFTs and comparing one NFT collection to another NFT collection. But I do expect there to be a shift at some point in the future with the conversation on-chain, off-chain, partially on-chain. And I think when that happens, well, I'll just put it this way. When that does happen, and I expect it to happen, especially after hearing Elon come out and publicly say what he did months ago. But when that does happen, I want to be owning some of the blue chip of the blue chip NFTs from the network that I personally believe will be the biggest thing in the world by far and will drastically transform the internet as we know it. On top of that, not only do I want to be owning the blue chip NFTs from the network that's going to be the biggest thing in the world, I want to be owning some of the rarest blue chip NFTs from the network that's going to be one of the biggest things in the world. So when people are looking at the NFT market and they're looking at Bored Apes selling for millions, Crypto Punks selling for millions, tens of millions, Beeples selling for millions, and someone could say, well, those are Crypto Punks. Those are Bored Apes. These are just Matoko Ghosts. Well, I would suggest that that's looking at this through the old crypto world, the crypto world that really predated ICP. I'm looking out in the future where ICP becomes the biggest thing in the world, and there's no questions. Now, could ICP become the biggest thing in the world and ICP NFTs never really materialize in the NFT market itself? That's possible. That's just not the, just not the bet that I've made personally. And when you take into consideration that the Matoko ghosts have a direct tie to the Matoko programming language, which is native to ICP, which was created by Definity, it just made it that much more appealing for me personally. But much of this is contingent on the big picture ICP thesis being correct. I want to openly reiterate that. And this is more of a speculative bet for me. This is more of an SNS1 bet for me than betting on open chat or origin. But I think it is realistic to expect a revaluation in the NFT market as ICP becomes the biggest thing in the world. Now, I had to be able to justify doing this without future potential airdrops, any DAOs that spawn off of that, the Matoko token, any rewards in the future. I had to be able to justify the purchase without that. But if you add that on top, it just made it that much more appealing for me. And another thing too, is that recently I locked up over 10,000 of my ICP for eight years, no dissolve. And when I did that, there was this feeling of just not giving a fuck anymore. Like at that point, I was just like, okay, this is it. Um, and I have other ICP outside of that. And I have a decent amount of ICP spread out throughout the ICP ecosystem and a lot of projects that I believe in. And SNS1 was a profitable move for me. And 
this just made sense for me personally. And I slept on it because I messaged a couple of y'all last night and I said, I really want to buy this. I almost bought it, uh, but I talked myself out of it. And then I thought about it overnight. And then I went and looked at some numbers. And I know, I know it's easy to say, and I'm not, I'm not sitting here suggesting that Matoko ghosts will ever become bigger than bored apes or crypto punks. I'm not sitting here suggesting that. But I do believe ICP is going to become the biggest thing in the world. And I think at some point, the NFT market will reflect that with ICP NFTs. That's really all I got. Um, I also really like Bitcoin flowers, and I really wanted to buy a Bitcoin flower. And I always told myself if I ever did buy an NFT, it would be a Bitcoin flower. This was just a little bit different. This was just a little bit different for me. And I still might buy a Bitcoin flower. I looked at some over the last couple of days. This was just a little bit different to me because of the direct ties kind of to ICP in the in the Motoko programming language. And yeah, this was just a little bit different for me because of that. So that's really all I have for this video. That's my general reasoning for doing what I did. And it is more of a speculative bet. So just be aware of that. Okay. And this is a very impulsive thing for me, similar to SNS1. And I looked at the situation, assessed the situation, and I made a call. And so we'll see how it plays out. Right. Um, and I will do a video where I will do like some type of a breakdown of the different Matoko ghosts that I have. I'll try to show them all in one image at some point if I can do that as well. Okay. That's all I have for this video. This was not financial advice. Do your own research. Take care. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.